Three cutscenes, guys. We got more three cutscenes. Freeze! Don't shoot. <laughs> you a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. Don't shoot them. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Yeah. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. It's a fucking tranquilizer gun. Calm down. It's not gonna Which kill anyone. Name? My name is Peter. Wall. Peter Steelman. Wall. I'm lecturer at Nav's Still Peter. Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. Good old Greg I Eagles. Tired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. Well, it's not lost. You still got it. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. Well. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. Jesus. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. <sighs> there are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. That's an odd name. Wall. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. Sadaka. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup. So we have to do it ourselves. Yep. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Come on! Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? Uh, you can do this. Trust me. Thanks. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. Uh, this is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. I know. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? Okay, for fuck's sake. There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Oh, here, hey. Look at this. Look at what? The bomb? Is that the bomb? You're the bomb. You're the bomb, Peter. You're the bomb. 
Can you just spray with some coolant? This is a C4 bomb. Terrorist! Terrorist! It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on he the did it. and there we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. Oh, cool. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. We know Fat Man loves food. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I love how he closes his, his eyes when he talks. With your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? Snake's got to really think about what he's saying. I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common <clears throat> sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. Perhaps. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. Skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Ugh. <sighs> Are we almost Let's done? See how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exception. <laughs> Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two, a total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Okay. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of shell two. Take this. What's this? Security card issued to shell personnel. The big shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You need it to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. 
You were supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. No, just where I need to go. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. <laughs> Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semperfy. Oops. Okay. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Hmm. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. Damn, get fucked, idiot. You're the bad guy riding. I'm... An idiot. Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. Where are you going to shut? I'll give you instructions by Kodak from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Okay, finally we get to fucking play the game. Jesus Christ. Alright, so we don't gotta worry about guys in this area until we leave. So, we're gonna run over here. Activate the nerd. No, nerd. Whatever. Hooray. Alright. There's one bomb here um, on normal difficulty in the women's room. I showed it to you earlier. It's... Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? <laughs> it means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Okay. Well, that's the one here, so we're gonna head over to Strut E, I think. Er, D, excuse me. Ugh. Over to the D. Yeah, fuck this. He ain't getting back up, bitch.
Uh, if you call Snake right now and tell him that you just saw somebody in a fucking box, he'll, uh... Tell me a little more. Okay. Not listen at all. This just want to hear the one I told you about. Vamp is a mem. I know. I want to hear about you in the fucking box. What do you know about that? St oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, I forgot. You gotta talk about everything before we get to that. Fat man. Yeah. Okay. All the dead cell guys are gone now. Box. Pliskin. I saw someone wearing a cardboard box just now. A box? I don't know anything about that. You sure you weren't imagining things? Of course I'm sure. Do you think it's one of the members of Dead Cell? How should I know? I don't want to fight someone like that. Why not? Because it looks so dumb. Anyone <laughs> who's willing to be seen like that must be completely insane. I mean, he's a psycho. There's no question about it. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I always thought that was kind of funny. Just fucking getting roasted. What the fuck is up with my analog stick? I don't want to get caught. Fuck that shit. For some reason, my analog stick is like sticking. I don't like that. Might have to take this thing apart and clean it. All right. Well, there's a few guys here that we need to take out. Take him out. There's a guy right here. Take him out. That was very close. The guy on the bottom uh, calls in. Nothing here. So we don't want to... Uh... We don't want to knock him out yet. Let him waddle past. Alright. The one we need to get is over here. Uh oh. Nothing here. Come on. Alright. Got that one. And we're gonna have to take this guy out real quick. All right, now we have to book it. Where the fuck is the terminal? Hmm. Oh, I know where it's at. It's below me. Uh, we also have to be careful. There's a guy uh, with binoculars up, up there. He can see you. hitting this fucking guy? I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna try this again. Okay, he's still asleep. I'm gonna hurry the fuck up. Here we go. Pretty much we needed to see who the, like, what the fuck's going on on this bridge, so I didn't want to come out here blind. I have to be able to see their line of sight, otherwise I'm fucked. Alright. Alright, got that guy. Alright. 
should be good. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, for some reason, I just couldn't hit him all the way from the door, I guess. Uh-oh. There's somebody there. Nope, nobody's there. I had no way to get away from him, so... Kinda have to sneak past that guy. Can't see their line of sight, so have to be very careful. I'm just waiting. Uh, on a harder difficulty, there is uh, usually two, um, whatchamacallits, there's two fucking bombs in each area, and there's one on a box that's going through this um, separating system. And it's actually kind of a pain in the ass to locate it, because the green shit is like going around the entire room. So it's easiest to just wait in an area and wait for it to pop up. You'll see it when I go through my European Extreme playthrough. I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never <laughs> seen field gear like that ever. All right, we'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. Okay. And she's like, now fuck that, Snake made me lose one of my favorite guns. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Oh, I know. I fought her, remember? Uh, anyway, there's two guys up here. Son of a bitch. Alright. 
Yeah, look at me, dipshit. Alright, this is an area where we fight a boss later. Not gonna happen for a while, so... Don't need to worry about it too much. Stun grenade. It's underneath this Harrier here. I'm just collecting ammo and shit. Alright, I think you can get to it from here. Yep, right there. <sighs> Raiden here. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No. There's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know. But I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back, too. Just hurry. Okie dokie, Artichokey. Well, that's it uh, for this strut. We can move on now. We have to go back downstairs and go through the fucking little warehouse type area. And then... We have to cross the fucking bridge of hell. Oh, shit. Yeah, go back to bed. You're not done yet. Fucking claymores. My least favorite fucking thing in this game. Invisible to the naked eye. Use the mind detector that you don't fucking have yet. Can't wait. Anyway. These guys should still be napping. Uh. So. We're gonna head out here.